Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bearded Fortech. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you're not, welcome back. Um, I want to go over what I'm doing to my dad's 2020 F-150 and uh, talk about oil catch can because I installed an oil catch can on his truck about a year ago and I never filmed putting it on there or really talked about what it is. So I want to talk about that today. All right, this is my dad's 2020 F-150. Yes, my father uses AMS oil. He uses the 5W30, because um, this is a twin turbo, 3.5 liter, and yes, it is a 2020. You see it right there, 2020 model year. Okay, and I installed that oil catch can about a year ago. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put the oil in the truck, and get all this out of my way, and I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you about that. I already cleaned it out because I was filming with my GoPro, and my GoPro overheated, and I got no audio. So I will go back over what I did, only just taking into consideration it's already empty, I already cleaned it out. So, and he is using the Amsoil oil filter. And that's the part number for the Amsoil oil filter. It's the EA017, which is the FL500 for the 3.5 liter EcoBoost and the 5.0 for the F-150s. That would be the oil filter you need when you want to do the AMS oil. Last quart. And usually I stick my oil fill cap right there. That way if I forget, I can't close the hood because the hood won't latch because the oil fill cap's there. Oh, liquid gold, baby. I wonder if we can see down inside there how clean that is. I mean, it's only got 26,000 miles on it, but still. You get my drift. Probably check his air filter, too. So we are going to be talking about that there catch can right there. <sighs> can we see down in there? Uh, no. It's got to face the correct way. He's good. He's got a K and N filter in there. All right. Get rid of the box. He said he's got a beautiful color. Let's see if I can. I like that color. Anyway, back to the catch can. So. Do you need a catch can? How does it work? What is it? Okay, it's, what is it? It is exactly what it sounds like. It is a oil catch can. If you look, this hose runs down, goes under, <clears throat> excuse me, under, and it goes in line to where the PCV valve was. So there used to be a line that went across and then goes into the intake, which underneath all this, now the hose comes up, goes to this can, and then another hose comes down, goes under. It comes in and goes to where the original line would be, and it just quick connects right up here on the intake. So when crankcase crank case pressures happen, oil vapors will accumulate, and they travel through this hose, and they come up here. Well, it's baffled inside here. When those oil vapors become heavy enough, they fall. It will then collect into this cup down here and then air or clean air not air with oil vapors in it will go back in through this tube into the intake this essentially keeps oil out of the intake it keeps it off of the intake valves because when it's hot and you got oil on the intake valves and there's no way to clean it because this is direct injected it bakes on there and if it bakes on there long enough 
you're going to have misfires, you're going to have running issues, and if you've never had an intake cleaning before, to get rid of that, you're going to have to take the intake off, you're going to have to get it walnut blasted, and if you've never seen how that's done, it is a very lengthy process, a very expensive process. Rain Man Ray has a video of doing a walnut blasting intake cleaning, and I will link that video down in the description too. But I already um, emptied this, and like I said, my GoPro overheated. So I'm gonna see if I can, yeah, turn it, get it off, and I'll show you that it collects down inside here. Mind you, it's already cleaned. I do apologize about that, but it was about three quarters of the way full. So that oil is gonna collect down inside there. And all I did was just clean it up with some brake cleaner. Dumped it out, and it's baffled. Probably can't see it, but. It'll, it'll go in and there's a, you know what? Let's see if I can do this. Meh, hope, hope you saw that. So the oil vapors, once they get heavy enough, instead of flowing in the airstream, they get heavy and they fall down inside here. This essentially lets the air pass after the oil is separated from it. This is also known as an oil separator. Let's, once the oil is separated from the air, the air continues to travel into the intake, essentially keeping the intake clean. So, do I recommend them? Yes, I do. I will be installing one on my Ranger, so we'll go through the process of that. If you guys want an oil catch can, I will leave a link where you guys can get an oil catch can for your specific year make and model. They make them for all vehicles. So, that's how the oil catch can works. That's how the oil catch can works. I hope that helped you out. Is it essential? Yes, it's gonna keep the intake clean. It's gonna help keep the intake clean. It's gonna greatly reduce how much oil and blow by and just oil vapors are gonna be going into that intake and getting caked onto the intake valves. And I'm sure you've seen videos where we take things apart and it's just caked and crusty on there and it's so hard to get off, especially if you've never had an intake cleaning done. If you've got low mileage like this one does, this has only got 26,000 miles on it. It is a 2020. Get an intake cleaning done between 20 and 30,000 miles, every 20 and 30,000 miles, and that's gonna help that. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.